The Last Wish bosses are quite possibly the easiest bosses to one face in the game, especially when you take into consideration the Riven's Curse and Transcendent Blessing mods, letting you do stuff like this. But we'll get back to that. Overall though, there are still some general guidelines you should be following when aiming for efficient kills. Kali is everyone's favourite red border farm and for good reason, she stands perfectly still and has little to no health. And because she has a 2x crit multiplier, crit based weapons work quite well so something like Sleeper works nicely or alternatively you can try using Double Slug Parasite. This is simply regular Double Slug but you add in a Parasite shot to your feet whenever you can to give yourself Worm Byproduct, a stacking 15% damage boost by the way. Remember, when looking to kill Kali efficiently you must trap her by sticking her with any damage over time effect like necrotic grips or anarchy as soon as the encounter begins and have someone stand at the designated plate you want her to get trapped at. Ensure you have someone running tractor cannon and she should be dead in no time. Shurochi is literally impossible to one phase and I'd also be quite concerned if you're failing her damage checks so I'm just gonna skip over this one. Morgeth is quite different to Kali and Shurochi in that he has a 0.6x crit multiplier meaning that you should absolutely avoid slug shotguns, sleeper, whisper or any crit weapon for that matter. Instead since since Morgoth's damage phase is relatively short, you need to prioritize high burst damage sources like Grand Overture or Parasite. Just make sure you have at least one well and a tractor cannon, ideally giving you the following. Similar to Morgeth, Riven also has a 0.6x crit multiplier which again changes what's best to use on her. For Riven, you have two options, the boring but effective version or the stupidly fun but effective version. Let's start with the first one, which is also the most general. If you have it, Caraxes Distress from the Root of Nightmares Raid is a very good pick here because it rolls either Envious Assassin or Reconstruction Surrounded and it just so happens that there are tons of ads in the Riven arena if you wait patiently and leave them alive. If you don't have the Ron GL, Rockets or Swords also work well, but that's literally it, just leave the ads alive and spam the GL when it comes to damage. That was the first option, but what's the second? Behemoth, of course. Turns out, piling as many behemoths onto Riven's Claw is quite an effective strategy. The only things you need to make this work are Syntheseps and Tractor Cannon. And optionally, this season we have the artifact mod Hail the Storm, which increases your crystal shatter damage by 28.6%, leading to the following. Finally, if you want to push things to the absolute extreme like this, there it is. You're gonna want to listen close. Because Last Wish technically takes place in the Dreaming City, you can take advantage of the Riven's Curse and Transcendent Blessing mods, with the optimal distribution being three of one type and two of the other, yielding a maximum 26.5% global damage increase. Combine this bonus with as many Celestial Nighthawk Hunters as possible, plus Tractor Cannon, Radiant, Heart of the Flame, and two Kinetic Surges, you can literally delete every boss in under a second. There it is. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Three, two, one. <laughs> anyway, that's all for today. I'll see you in the next one. One more thing. I have just released the membership section of the channel, so if you like what I do and want to see more of it, consider becoming a member and get yourself a host of cool perks along with it. Bye for now, dear viewer.